Let's let's do this 2021. Yeah, we're gonna we're fighting we're fighting off 2020. Because 2020 <laughs> deuces. We're, gonna, yeah. we're shooting it with our 75 millimeter fill yeah. artillery guns and we're drinking our settlers gin. Hello everyone, it's Hello. the Revival Social Club. Happy New Year. Is it New Year? It is going to be New Year because this is our New Year episode. Oh yeah. If it's not New Year already, it will be soon and then in another year it'll be New Year's again. It happens all so, the time. So this episode will never be old. Never. Because there's always a New Year's. Anyway, my name is Mike Stojic. I'm Malia Christie. And then Dave is actually um, probably still on the ball that gets dropped. Yeah. Yep. Partying yeah. naked on the ball. He's Whoa. waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Times yeah. Square. He's like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> oh, Miley yeah, Cyrus swinging on the ball. <laughs> and that makes us three people, social club status, yeah. and here we go. Um, so today we're, we're, we're it's a close to New Year's, and we were going to do a champagne episode, but we thought, man, it'd be a lot more fun if we did a champagne cocktail, cocktail episode. Um, and uh, so we decided to go with the French 75, which is a very elegant, very sophisticated, aesthetically pleasing to look at, um, but it was actually born kind of in war. It's true, that's absolutely true, and everyone thinks champagne cocktails are girly drinks, but this particular cocktail got its namesake um, from around World War I, and there was a soldier, who, and he drank it, and he's like, man, this packs as much punch as a 75 millimeter field gun. Yep. So take that, fellas. There it is, and that's why it's known as the French 75. Yes. Um, but it became really popular, especially in America around the 1930s, um, when it was mentioned in a few pretty popular movies you may have heard of, Casablanca, mm -hmm. and there was a couple John Wayne films where they mentioned the drink See, uh, the French John 75. Wayne, champagne cocktails. A 75 millimeter French field yeah. <laughs> artillery cut. Yeah. Like it's, that's, this is a very manly, very tough drink. Yes. Even absolutely. though it looks very, but think, I mean, almost like a James Bond thing. It's very suave, sophisticated, but uh, can kill you. <laughs> the drink like, won't kill you, I'm only kidding. But you know, it's Like tough. myself. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, and one thing I probably should mention is that um, there is also an alternate version of this, which is a French 76. And I just wanted to show you, you know, um, a vodka that you can use, uh, like Absolute Elix. You want to use a nicer gin and vodka than you want to, to use the champagne. That's just as a topper. Um, so just wanted to point out there, as for a French 76, which is vodka, get a really nice vodka to make. But we're doing ours with... It's a French 75, so we are gin. using gin. And I think what we're going to use this time is really one of our favorite gins. Um, it's made locally in North Carolina. Our good friend Scott Sandburn actually makes it out of Winston-Salem, and it's called Sutler's. Um, yes which is cool too, and it has a military uh, tie-in too because uh, Scott was a naval grad, grad a naval grad graduate. A naval grad a graduate. Navy, a naval academy graduate, <laughs> although he didn't go into the Navy. Mm -hmm. um, he had another profession he went into and then um, left that, and now he started distillery sellers. And a sutler, if you didn't know, was one of the folks that would travel behind uh, the troops as they were kind of going into battle, most mm -hmm. uh, notably during the Civil War, and they were the guys who had things. Like, they would repair your shoes or patch your coats or maybe if they had alcohol most or cigarettes or tobacco, and they had all these Thank things. Like a little, yeah, they had a little shop they would travel. So this whole drink is uh, full of... It's, it's war inspired, war. but <laughs> for New Year's, it's, it's going to be a celebration let's come together kind of yes, drink because yeah. let's let's do this 2021 yeah we're, gonna, we're fighting we're fighting off 2020 2020 we're, deuces we're, gonna, yeah. we're shooting it with our 75 millimeter fill yeah. artillery guns and we're drinking our settlers gym cheers to that let's make one all right let's do it <laughs> okay guys so let's put together this super packs a punch not girly drink and we're gonna start out with our gin um, for this one, you're going to end up making the cocktail part. It's going to come pretty short in your glass, but that's because you want to leave room for um, your bubbly on top. So you do one ounce of your gin. So you can use really any um, 
Sparkling wine, I think traditionally you would use a champagne, mm -hmm. probably because it's so common. Mm -hmm. uh, we prefer to use cava um, at Revival, so that's what we're going to use, but feel free, any, any bubbling, any sparkling works perfectly fine. Absolutely, yep, whatever you prefer is, is right. Um, then you're going to want to do a half an ounce of simple syrup. And simple syrup, you can just boil up in a pot, super easy. Um, one part water, one part sugar, keep it in the refrigerator, close tightly, it will last um, practically forever. And then you're gonna wanna do a half an ounce also of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Fresh citrus is very, very important in making any cocktail. Yeah, I mean, you can buy um, fresh squeezed citrus, whether it be lime or lemon, but it won't have the same, well, you can taste the freshness. I mean, oh, at absolutely. the end of the day, if you squeeze a lemon and then you try the lemon juice that you're buying in a, in a jar, you're gonna notice a difference. I mean, it's this, yeah. that fresh quality that, that the, uh, obviously a fresh lemon offers. Absolutely, so half an ounce. Then you add your ice. Dave loves when I say fresh, clean ice. So always use fresh, clean ice. Not anything that's been sitting in the freezer next to your frozen chicken or fish sticks. Dave loves when I say fish sticks. Um, then you're gonna wanna pour into your tin with ice, get a really good seal, and you give it a good shake for about 20 seconds, vigorous shake. There we go. Then you're going to want to break your tins and double strain with your Hawthorne to hold back the larger ice and a fine strainer to hold back smaller pieces of ice and any citrus. No one wants to chew their cocktail. I'll do the champagne. And then Mike wants to do the, do the bubbly. The I love doing the bubbly. There you go. On another episode, we're going to show you how to savor these bottles. Are we? <laughs> Yeah, oh. I cannot wait. I wanted to do it for this episode, but it was too much of a mess and, uh, you know, insurance and stuff. <laughs> so you just pour it on top. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. And it's suddenly 2021 and everyone's happy. And we're all happy. We... <laughs> and the world is a better place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's French 75. Hi right, everyone, we hope you enjoyed our episode on the French 75. Yeah. Um, and we, more than anything, hope you actually make one of these at home. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you do, tell us what you think about it. You can hit us up on uh, revival1869.com, which is our home on the web. Mm -hmm. um, you can email us at revival1869. Dot uh, uh, com? No, it's info at revival1869.com. <laughs> and then check us out on Instagram and Facebook, yes. Revival1869 again. Um, and like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. That's, that's all we wish for 2021. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> and uh, with that, we'll see you next time. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Cheers.